So let's go ahead and create our very own travel agent agent inside of uh, our employee site here uh, at the Copilot Studio. Now, this is really why I think having a foundational understanding of SharePoint is going to be essential moving forward as we get more integration between Copilot and SharePoint and is one of the main reasons why I have developed the course that I have, the Ultimate SharePoint course that does have a sprinkling of Copilot uh, throughout. So if you want to get uh, on board with the foundation package, head over to danielanderson.io at SharePoint Fundamentals, pop your email address in there and you can be, become part of the founders package and the, the founders cohort as well. But let's get on to creating our very own travel agent agent. Now I'm in a communication site here. I've got my documents loaded in here. Now I've got one document in here uh, that is all around our travel and expenses policy. But we might have documents that are living in other locations that are about travel as well, but we wanna bring them in uh, into a single interface or into a service or even an agent, dare I say, uh, to provide uh, information to our users. So I'm going to select my file here. Now I'm gonna go up to my ribbon or I could go to the context menu and create Copilot Agent. So I'll click Create Copilot Agent, and you can see that it's grounded in that single document. But what I can do is actually edit this uh, agent. So I'm going to edit this agent at this point. I'm going to go to my Sources tab here, and here is where I can add additional sources to ground this agent's knowledge in. So I am going to look for a new site. Now I've got Copilot Agent and open in the top uh, tab up here. And I'm going to search for, and I'm going to select that site. Now I don't want to ground this in the entire site. I actually want to ground it in a particular file in this site. So you can see that it's going to be sourced from document libraries, folders, or files. I can add document libraries, folders, or files. And you can see here, I've got this document, how to apply for travel. I'm going to select that document. Now what I've got is I've got this agent, my travel agent, grounded in two documents from uh, different sites. Okay, so I've now saved that. And what I can do on the right hand side is I can test this out. Okay, so I can say, uh, let's have a look at uh, what is our travel policy. So I'll give this a bit of a test and let's see what we come back with. All right, so again, it's grounded in two documents here. Uh, it's going to look for, and you can see here, that it is giving me responses and citations from that policy. Now, what about I go, how do I apply for travel? Okay, so I'm gonna ask that question. Now this is coming from a different document. So that document uh, where I've got how to apply for travel is the document that has got that information, all right? So here we've got uh, the responses and you can see that those responses are coming back from that different document that's living in that other site. Um, let's say what about uh, escalations, all right? So the part of our uh, how to apply for travel, there's a process if we need to escalate things for our travel. So we can see here that we've got some uh, the answers that are coming back. We can see again, it's coming back from how to apply for travel and we can see what the escalation process is. We could open up that document directly from that citation or that reference if we wanted to as well. All right, so we've got our the, the basis of our travel agent uh, here. Now I'm gonna flick over to the behavior tab and I'm going to have a look specifically at this instructions for this co-pilot agent. I'm gonna say, please, um, Please act as a uh, fun and engaging travel agent and respond in a friendly tone and use emojis where appropriate. All right, so let's just fix up a little bit of the spelling here. We'll hit save and now let's have a look and see what change this this has, all right? All right, uh, I need to plan for travel. What do I do? do? What do I do? 
can you help? All right, so let's ask our travel agent, all right, and let's see what it comes back with. Again, just to reiterate, we're grounding our uh, our agent here in two documents. Now you can see here that I've changed the instructions for this agent. So we've come back with some emojis um, because that's how I've asked it to respond. And there we've got our responses and we can see that it's giving me a response here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six little steps here. We've got two different sites. We've got a citation that from the policy, and we've also got instructions from how to apply for travel. All right. So there's the basis of our travel agent agent. All right. So we've seen that we can create uh, an agent based on a single document, but also then include other knowledge and ground the agent in knowledge from other locations, even down to a document in another site. All right. So having a foundational understanding of how SharePoint operates, how to structure SharePoint, where your documents are located is going to become crucial uh, in getting the, the having the biggest impact with these co-pilot agents as well. So head over. Uh, if if you want to have a look at that course and become part of the foundational member package, then head over to danielanderson.io forward slash SharePoint Fundamentals, pop your email address in there for the opportunity to become part of the foundation members package there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.